Ever felt the urge to skip the toilet and pee behind a tree, in the bush, or even in a flower bed? We have a deeply ingrained belief that urine is just a noxious substance that must be disposed of. This may not be the case. Human urine is one of the fastest and excellent sources of nitrogen, phosphorus, potassium that are vital for good plant growth. For this reason, the African Science Graduates Organization Group started a project to collect urine and station it in a specific place which they hope to use in future to boost crop production. One of the directors, Joseph Kalunji, explained why they are targeting human urine. Reason. Uh, in the world, we have plants, we have animals, we have human beings. Uh, but uh, for the case of the plants, uh, they eat on uh, what is in the soil. And then the animals, they eat what has come out of the soil, and those are the plants. And then the, the human being eats all of them, both the plants and animals. So the minerals which are in the human urine, human, the so-called human waste, they are v much richer than those ones in the urine for uh, cattle and other animals. He explained that every type of urine is welcome and can be preserved. Concentrators, we call them concentrators, uh, which do help in keeping that urine the way, uh, because we, want the, uh, we don't want urine which has overstayed for some time. So after, after uh, let me say, urinating somewhere, let me say in the bucket, because members now use buckets. Then after using the bucket, then you put in the what? In the can, we give you. So you've entered that store, but there is no smell, because people have been worrying about the smell. That urine has stayed there for some years, for, for a year, but you've, you've not had any smell out of it. They have so far collected a number of litres of urine since its inception. They hope that people will soon appreciate this project as it evolves into a lucrative business where many people will earn a living. I'm the director of Mukono. Now in my, in my area I have around 700, 700 litres. One litre is at 32,000. If every homestead can, collect, can at least get an income per day of 32,000, that is enough, enough money to relieve poverty out of the country. One of the members who contributes to the project shared with us why she is interested in the project and how she collects her urine. For example, Gumubiri. Within even a day, only a day, but use of Domlango over a Satu won't even be Jimusa. So, what did it begin that to Jimusa Mere to Nue to Lie to to Colene Vidala? Dr. John Baptist Tumhairi, an agricultural specialist at Makere University, says urine has always been a good fertilizer, citing how important it will be if the project is successful. I think I encourage that development. Actually, urine has always been a fertilizer. Maybe before we talk about human urine, we can talk about animal urine, cattle urine, goats, all that urine has already been used as a fertilizer already. What has not been used is human urine because of the stigma that's associated with human urine. But for sure that human urine contains the nutrients which are required by the plants, particularly nitrogen, and therefore it has a potential as a fertilizer. Our fertilizer use in this country is very low, so any source of nutrients that we need to use on the farm will be very acceptable. That is also actually, actually adding on the materials flow on the farm. We are losing a lot of nutrients which are being drained in human waste. But actually human waste can be recycled as sources of nutrients. What we need to work on is the stigma, make people appreciate that this can be a source of nutrients. And actually the plant converts it into a nutrient and it becomes edible. This project is aimed at replacing artificial fertilizers with organic fertilizers made out of human urine, which are essential in crop production. Olivia Komgisha, NTV Weekend Edition.